Hello again, World Part Two. We just had a bit of a technical malfunction. That's uh, that's that's live social media for you. Um, so we were just talking about trying to keep people at home, build their startups, um, but also access those global networks and pathways to scale. So. Um you know, a lot of our startups have this same concern that they're having a hard time finding a good or high quality human resources, especially in the, uh, you know, IT, uh, computer science, uh, you know, kind of area. Yeah, yeah, engineers yeah. and stuff, because uh, there were just basically no, in, not enough uh, job demands for that. So people are not getting themselves, you know, educated or trained for that. So we are going to universities, telling them, you know, the industry is growing and a lot of startups are, you know, rising in Indonesia. So hopefully that will, uh, you know, in the long term, inspire more people to go and, uh, you know, study. So then we can create a local, uh, you know, high quality uh, human resources to support the emerging markets in the industry itself so that's one of the uh, our initiative at least to support that uh, it's a long shot but we believe in like you know uh, building from ground uh, because that's how we are helping the startups as well and then we also go to universities and to inspire them about you know stories of entrepreneurship technopreneurship and we bring in uh, founders of successful companies to uh, y let them know and uh, you know to make sure that they are uh, building the economy together yeah. you know so it, that, that's interesting because uh, I think a lot of people think entrepreneurship is being a, the next um, Facebook Mark Zuckerberg uh, type of thing and I, I don't necessarily subscribe to that because I think it's about people that want to actually make a change mm -hmm. and change the world for the better and whether that's social entrepreneurship mm -hmm. or whether that um, is commercial but ultimately it has to be sustainable. Um, and so the three things that I see that the skills that need to be developed is critical thinking, problem solving and creative thinking. I think they're the cornerstones to entrepreneurship. What's your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, I definitely agree. But, uh, you know, fortunately, or unfortunately, a lot of uh, those criteria are something that cannot be taught at school. You know, critical thinking might be you can uh, train mm, that. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, we, that's why we go to uh, we go to universities, we do workshops, talk shows to ignite that ideas, you know, to get them to think about problem and uh, try to solve it. Yeah. That's one way that we do it. Um, we also help, you know, universities to um, create a module on their technopreneurship curriculum because, uh, you know, as a player, we might, uh, you know, we might know some of the things that the professors don't know. So we help them to create that curriculum that could hopefully support and ignite that critical thinking and all the, you know, the other uh, three cat um, Problem solving criteria yeah, yeah. that you mentioned earlier. Yeah. And, but yeah, that's, um, well, yeah, unfortunately, that's uh, we think that there's uh, there's a factor of talent there as well. So uh, we uh, that's why we go to uh, a lot of different places to reach out to people to see uh, where are the good founders, uh, you know, yep. residing. So yep. and that's wh why we take we take the time to talk to them because that's something that you cannot see, you know, immediately. You have to talk to them to see yep. if they're committed to it, if they have that. Um, you know, they have that, what do you call it? The, the, oh, ability. The, well, I think it's probably that the resilience, the, yes. gr the grit. It's yeah. that thing that, uh, like I said, gets you up at four o'clock in the morning, makes yeah. you makes you uh, overcome the adversities mm -hmm. that are lots of barriers and, yeah. and problems that put in your way. Mm -hmm. um, I like to think of, uh, you know, starting a company as um, trying to solve one big problem and then spending the next uh, 10 years of your life solving lots yes. of little problems on the way. Yes. Yeah, around that. So. Um, that's why, again, we really emphasize on the importance of who are the founders because, you know, business models can change, you can pivot to something else that, yep. that's happening to a lot of our startups within, just within that three months of program, we've seen startups who come in as, you know, B2B and then they going out as B2C or the other way around. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. what really important is to find that founders who have that resilience, as you said, you know, have that willingness to stay with the company, you know. Yeah. Uh, throughout, you know, all the changes and everything. So, yeah. But resilience is a uh, is is a learned skill. You know, yes. um, it's trial and error, trial and error, trial mm -hmm. and error. Uh, my message is go and have a go and yeah. try, and it's okay if it doesn't yeah. work out this time. Do the it. lessons you'll get from it for next time mm -hmm. are invaluable. Yeah, very unlikely the you know all the successful other successful founders or uh, entrepreneurs out there it's very unlikely you know what you're seeing is their first trial you yeah. know i doubt it i think it's like maybe they're 
it's their tent or hundreds of I'm, tribes. I'm living testament yeah. to that. I love this. Every problem is an opportunity for <laughs> yeah, a creative yeah. solution. Yeah, yeah. We try to, you know, put something good to read and motivate people. Yeah, in yeah the that's fantastic. So, so just to, just to, to wrap up the the, the the future for the Indonesian mm -hmm. uh, ecosystem, innovation ecosystem looks pretty bright to me. What's your thoughts? Yeah, it is very broad. You know, fintech has opportunities definitely because the unbanked population is just so big in Indonesia, and the poverty is you know the main concern of uh, basically it should be the main concern of everyone. You know, whatever you are doing, you should be supporting something macro. Uh, and uh, agri tech is also uh, a hot you know industry to look at because uh, you know we are an archipelago country. Uh, we live from that basically. And yeah, um, what what else? Energy is something uh, yeah, that we're looking into well. too. Yeah. So we just uh, take on one energy uh, startup as well. Yeah. Uh, basically, any verticals. Uh, I think there's a lot of rooms and opportunities to grow in Indonesia, and that's the beauty of it. You know, you know, yeah. all the problems are there, but then it means there's an opportunity for you to solve <laughs> it. So there's lots of problems yeah, to solve. And, so and it's very. Um, you know, cool to see that uh, almost half of our startup founders are foreign, uh, you know, foreign founders who come to Indonesia all right. the way from Europe, from Estonia, Fantastic. from, uh, you know, Americans. Uh, uh, we have Australian founders who come to Indonesia, set up their company here just because they see that there's an opportunity and they care so much as well for the, you know, the economy. So um, I think Indonesia is really in, you know, a place where everyone can you know yep. can work together and fix this problem together so um well yeah. I, th I think you know the collaboration that we've received and yeah. the support we've received just to get us here and uh, the people that are networking us together yeah. we've been overwhelmed by um too many messaging services mm. pinging us this morning has <laughs> been very challenging um so if people want to get in touch with you they can find you on social media plug yeah. and play uh, your website we have a website, Plug and Play Indonesia. You Google us, you should see us. Yeah, yeah. so it's cool. And we, uh, what we are trying to build here is an ecosystem, a platform where anyone have a have a role, whether you know your universities or your media, you know, like Bit City. We yeah. we need uh, that uh, partnership to help us get the stories out there, right? Yeah. Uh, whether you are founders, future founders, or you are investors, you are corporates, we have a room and a place, a role for you. And let's, you know, let's work together to make this happen. Let's work together and make this happen. What a great way to finish. Jessica, <laughs> thank you very much well. for joining us. And uh, don't forget to watch us on Beach City Life. We'll be coming to you from in Indonesia uh, in Jakarta all this week. Um, and also look us up on YouTube. Uh, just search for Beach City. Thanks, Jessica. Yeah, thank you.